a brand new show on Ken 11 on Saturday nights, and it's called Other World. Now, the curious thing about this is it was produced by Lou Hunter from Nebraska and his lovely new wife, Pamela, from Las Vegas. From Nevada. Las Vegas, that's all right. You can come and visit <laughs> us in Nebraska <laughs> anytime you want. Now, if you recall a couple of years ago, Lou, Lou made a very, very special program called Fallen Angel about child pornography. And about a year later, there was another program called Desperate Lies about mm -hmm. drug abuse. Mm -hmm. Now, how does Otherworld, how are you, how did you get connected and involved with Otherworld, Lou? Well, I was involved with, uh, also produced the Mississippi, which was on Ken That's Levin right. Strong That's about right. uh, three or four, about three years ago. And then I went last year and produced the Yellow Rose and in between and doing movies for different and sundry people. And <coughs> the CBS folks, uh, Carla Singer, who was the vice president of program development out here, and Harvey Shepard knocked on my door and said that they were doing, they had done a pilot called Other World, and they would like for somebody to come and produce it and specifically be involved with the development of the scripts. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> I said, well, I'm, I'm just not into that sort of thing. Uh, thanks very much anyway. And uh, I said, because uh, I had known what it was about, I didn't, hadn't seen the pilot, but it was, uh, I assumed it was science fiction. I said, on the other hand, I'm probably the perfect person to produce it because I probably represent the segment of the audience that doesn't care for science fiction or science fantasy, as my friend, ironically enough, Ray, B Ray Bradbury calls it. And so uh, the more I said, no, I really don't, they said, no, 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 you'll be perfect because we're trying, your, your background is family because I was the head of the story department at Disney in the late 60s <coughs> and then, of course, being involved with family shows and my, my uh, the movies that I've uh, written and produced being so much about family uh, and the interactions within a family. And, and as you know, and as, as your audience knows or will know, that other world is about a family sort of caught in another dimension of time and trying to get home again. I said, I would probably represent, so I'd probably be a person. They said, no, that's, that's why we want you, you know, because the people that are uh, involved, specifically Rob Taylor, who's executive producer of the show, is very, very deeply into science uh, fantasy. But isn't he also a rock star? Yes, as a matter of fact, he records under the name of Rock Falconer in England. And he's and an MTV uh, or something? He's MTV, got MTV, MCA yeah. put out, and uh, yes, indeed. And uh, so they thought that the, uh, that the farm boy from Nebraska mixed with this rock star person <laughs> uh, who is, uh, he turns out to actually be more conservative than I am, oh, to be really? perfectly truthful. But we got together, and uh, we did uh, the last, uh, we did seven episodes beyond the pilot. Uh, the, uh, we are uh, progressing forward, mm -hmm. and, and I turned out to love the show. I really did. I turned out to be just as crazy about the show as Yellow Rose, which a lot of the folks from Nebraska, even though it wasn't on Channel 2, mm -hmm. like, always keep, or Channel 10, keep, uh, oh, dropped the microphone. They keep talking about the Yellow Rose, and... Uh, because it had the Western element. But mm -hmm. I think that if people try this, that they just might really I like it. I Have you did. seen it yet, Pam? I've seen segments of it. I saw the, the pilot. Yeah. It, it is wonderful. Now, are you being completely objective? Being just objective. because your husband was the producer of it. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Okay. I liked it in the beginning. He kind of, I said, it's wonderful. It's about a family unit that sticks together through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's something America will enjoy. You got to come and visit us in Nebraska not too long ago. Yes. You were down in Superior, Nebraska? Is that the yeah. old family homestead? Well, the family homestead uh, was really in Guide Rock, Nebraska. And my mother in 1949 bought a house, which has become a historical landmark house in Superior, Nebraska. And uh, my mother uh, went to her reward, uh, God bless her, last September. And uh, so we've been kind of uh, shaping it up so it looks pretty good. My cousin Genevieve was a little. We go back there a couple times a year to go pheasant hunting and to root for Big Red and all those wonderful things. I was hoping you hadn't forgotten yeah, this completely. Yeah. No, actually, I have never been without this. So this is my. You never take your pants off? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's there's something to that. I once in a while I'll take my pants off, but I never take my belt buckle off. My, I, my daughter bought this in the airport in Omaha for me about, what was it, about eight years ago. I've always felt that if I ever took this uh, right, right would, right, something would be uh, missing. Uh, I suppose humility and uh, basic uh, Nebraska intelligence would be gone, and I could be part of the Hollywood finger popper or something. So I've tried to resist that, and this belt buckle is my touchstone to sanity. Well, we're assuming you people are sane in Nebraska. We're all sane and um, right on target. 
Would, wouldn't you agree? I mean, you come to Nebraska now. God's country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pam, the next job for you is in the PR. Is in PR work promoting. Well, what did you really, was that the first time you ever had come to Nebraska? Well, yes, it was, and I really enjoyed it. It was wonderful. Compared to Las Vegas, the lifestyle <laughs> is a little slower. <laughs> well, it's a little slower. I would agree it is. Definitely. Well, <laughs> congratulations on your marriage. Thank you. Well, your thank eyes you. are just, if you could <laughs> see the, the blue of this woman's <laughs> eyes, they're just magnificent. Thank look at Lou, look at her. You've seen it. <laughs> Lou, congratulations on thank another, you, Lita. another successful uh, wonderful show. Wonderful to see you again. And well, we hope it's going to be a successful show. We sure hope we can get people to see it because I think they'll feel like I did. I think they'll really want it's it. It's called Other World. It's here on mm -hmm. Saturday nights on 1011. We hope you'll be watching. Lou Hunter and his wife Pam have been our guests this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Pleasure to meet you. Good to see you again. Please stay tuned. The morning show continues.